Right, welcome back everybody. Today we're back in the Vauxhall Vivaro and if you remember in the last video I said I wanted to get this headline in dyed black. So I've actually bought some spray dye, liquid dye, and it comes in a little spray bottle. Um, but I don't think I'm going to go down that route. As I mentioned, we're going to stick it in the spray gun, I think, in the log cabin. So yeah, we're going to use a spray gun for that to get a nice coverage evenly rather than a spray one where you're just spraying individual burst sprays. So we'll get a better coverage. So what we've got to do now is work out how this headlining comes down. I presume it's just held in with these door rubbers because it's all loose at the back because I've took the poppers off from when I took to fitted the ceiling in there. So all the backs loose we've got to take these sun visors down which are star key so there's a, one on this one and there'll probably be a, a couple of screws on each visor and also i need to remove this center cowling as well so i presume that would just pop down with a trim tool and uh, we can get that off regarding these obviously if we're going to do this black we could leave these this color but i don't think it'll really look right so what i think i'm going to do with the sun visors is i'll probably get some uh satin black spray paint and spray them i've sprayed visors in the past before and they put work perfectly well with spray paint i don't think i can use the dye really because i don't know how that would uh stick to this i mean we could give it a go i suppose we're, we've got nothing to lose so it, at least it'll all be the same color then regarding the center trim here that's actually plastic so i don't know whether because obviously if i'm doing that i'm going to want to do these front a pillars as well because i don't really want to leave them that color because all the dash is all black in here the roof's going to be all black so i'm going to want that black as well so there's a couple of options what i can do with these plastic stuff is we can get some paint and uh, paint them up get some plastic primer and do it that way but um a couple of years ago i don't know if any of you remember from the uh, my long-term subscribers i've done a mobility scooter and i wrapped it matte black so i've got still got quite a bit of that matte black wrap left so i'm thinking maybe just give it a go with the wrap first and uh, if that doesn't work we can always fall back on uh, doing the painting but with the matte black wrap i think that'll just be a bit easier with it being painted plastic you've got a chance of it um scratching and damaging it with it wrap you can always replace the wrap at a later date so yeah that's the route we're going to go down so what we're going to do now is we'll get the sun visors off i don't know if these will be painted in today's video well i suppose if we're going to use the the spray gun with the dye we can have a go with that today but i don't think i've got any satin black spray paint so uh we'll have a go at dyeing one of them we can always just do the inside of it just to see what it's like so when they are shut if it did mess mess up uh you won't see that until i get the paint and we can correct that as well so yeah i'm really looking forward to getting this done it'll just uh, tone it down a bit also you, these are um the same color here uh what i'll be doing with them i'm not sure yet because i am looking to change them because these are the bulkhead version i want the non-bulkhead ones which actually wrap around these are cut at the end here so you can actually see behind this panel because uh, obviously the bulkhead would have been butted up there before but i do want to get the crew cab ones of them so i might just paint them for now or i could just leave them i'm not sure we'll see how we get on with that but what the main game of today is is getting this headlining out and getting that sorted so let's get started and get this headlining down right so welcome back guys as you can see i've got both visors off now uh, i did get carried away i did pop this down and the way to do that is um you just need to pop your front lens off of your light and that just literally pops off i've just got a little trim tool i got behind that and popped it off and then as you can see your light there it's got a clip on that in there so you just push that little clip in there and that drops your light down then your light will hang down just like that and then you can literally just get your hand on here and just pull it down it will pop down it's very tight to pull but it will pull down as well so you can just uh, drop your light through there then so your light will just hang loose there that can stay there like that the light and then you just got one little clip there that you could probably uh you might get away with just leaving that clipped in actually and just uh, be able to move this block out of the way so i'll just have a look at that now see if we can pop that out and i'll come back to you right yeah so you can get away with leaving your uh, seat belt detector plugged in you just got to uh, pull these little tabs here at the back just pull them back and that will just slide out there so 
that's uh, ready to go for preparation now. I say I don't think we'll be painting this. I think we'll have a go at wrapping it with some uh, matte black wrap for the time being. And uh, hopefully this headlining now, I'm hoping, should just pull off. As you can see there, there's uh, nothing holding it on back there. I've took all them clips out. I took that out when I've done the roof, as I said. So I reckon we've got a little uh, grate here. So I don't know if there's any wires to that. I think that's for um, if you have built-in hands-free. I think that's like a microphone behind there. But this fan doesn't have that um, in it. It works through my aftermarket stereo. So I presume I'm looking for, there might be a wire behind there of a microphone on or something. So we'll have to have a look at disconnecting that. And uh, hopefully, I think this should just pull down now. So let's give it a go. Right, I understand it's not the brightest in here as well for you, so there's not much light in here. So we just get this cover off. Right, it's that free now. So I'll just pull that down a bit just to release that. Right, so get that from out of there. Pull that forward. There we go, it's coming down nicely. And as easy as that look. No effort at all there. So we're just, uh, yeah, I've got a microphone wire there. So I'm just gonna have to come around to the driver's side. Just disconnect that. Yeah, so as you can see, we've got a microphone there and the plug for it is just here. And it just disconnects just up here. It's just a push uh, fit. And uh, I've got some sound deadening for up here, but as you can see, there is a couple of uh, sound deadening sheets up here. I'm gonna stick some more on, I've got a few more, and uh, I will be sticking some insulation in here as well. So it just uh, help improve that. And also I'll be able to just tidy this carpet up now from where I couldn't get to it before. So I can put a bit of spray glue behind there, tuck that up there and tidy that job right up. Yeah, so let's get this headliner out now. As you all see how easy it was, I just literally undone that door rubber there and it just fell down. So and you can see that's our radio, our antenna aerial point there. And uh, there's pretty, quite a bit of room up here to uh, run cabling if you need to. So, right, let's get this out now. We'll head round to the log cabin and I'll show you uh, the dye that I've bought and we'll hopefully get some in the spray gun and get it sorted. Right then, so we're in the log cabin now and I'll just show you this. I've done a couple of bits to start with. So as you can see, this has had about an hour to dry this, but you don't really want to go putting your fingers all over it. And as you can see, who's on the camera? Oh, hello. So, yeah, that mirror does pop out that, so you ain't got to bother masking it up. You just prise it out, it's on little tag tabs. And this is a vinyl, isn't it? Yeah, this is a vinyl, this. And I'll just show you what we started off like. And if you remember, this is what they started off like. Uh, they just get all dirty, basically. Get all fingerprints on you. I did give these a panel wipe as well, just to get anything off. I've put a little block in here just so we can get a bit of paint behind here, hopefully. So, see how that works out. I've done these front A pillar trims again. They've had about four to five coats, they have. Just dust coats. Don't want to go too mad because the paint that we're using is only uh, a thin liquid. But you put about four coats on? About four to five coats, it's had. And I've been drying it with a heat gun in between. So, also done the little sun visor brackets there. That was me little test bits to see how they was going to work with the plastics and it did take very well. I'm going to film me doing this top centre console, the roof lining and the other sun visor. So we'll crack on with that. I'll just show you what we're using. This is what I've bought. I bought the CD25D black carpet vinyl, black carpet dye that is, and that's for vinyl and uh, trim. So I'll leave a link that down below for that. And you're putting that as it is straight into the... Um Straight into the little Devilbus SRI Pro, yeah, um, with a one mil tip. That's the one sprayed on at two bar, which is about 28 psi. Oh, yes.
Right, so welcome back guys. That's had the um, four coats now and it's took really well. It's got a full good covering, four coats all the way over. I'm really happy with that. I've just sat that centre of it in there. If you look, that looks fantastic. It actually looks factory painted that. Really happy with that. You may have noticed I was putting a light dust coat on, then I had the heat gun on, and then I've done that four times. Just light dust coats, heat gun it in between, and uh, just be careful with your heat gun. Remember, this is only plastic, and they do get hot, them heat guns, so you can damage your plastic if you don't keep moving your gun. Just leaving it in one spot ain't going to help you. And as you can see, we've got this uh, other sun visor done now. Again, looks factory. I'm really happy with how this has all turned out, this. So, yeah, look at that. That's fantastic. Looks a lot better than that old grey original one they come with. All you could see in that, the previous owner did uh, smoke, so it did stink, and it was a bit yellow, and obviously it had marks on where he's had fingerprints up there and everything. So, yeah, you're not going to see any of that now. I did wash all this as well before I did start to get the smoke or the smell of the smoke out, so really happy with that. Again, there's the other sun visor. It looks factory now. It does look a bit blotchy in here. It's still trying to dry and uh, the lighting doesn't help either. I did take the microphone out. I've painted the front of the microphone that actually sits just in that hole there. So that's painted. We've got the sun visor clips there and we've also got the pillars that I was going to wrap but I did read the bottle and it said it was for vinyl trim, for vinyl and trim as well. So we did give it a go. If uh, if it didn't work out, I could have still wrapped it, but I'm really happy with how this is uh, turned out now. So that is all the cab trim, black now. All I've got to worry about is where the seatbelt anchors on. So, But I'm not too bothered about that yet, because I say I am looking at changing them. So as I said, this has had about four to five coats, and it is still very wet. So I'm not going to be fitting it back in the van today. It's actually Sunday today, the day of recording this. Uh, I'm back to work tomorrow and I'm off Tuesday, so hopefully we can come back and visit this Tuesday morning, get it all refitted, and hopefully that'll be the end of that job. And then the next job I want to be starting is Chris's Caravan, because you've all shown an interest in that, and you want to see it getting done. So hopefully that'll probably be the next videos on the channel, getting Chris's Caravan sorted, and then we'll be moving forward from there. So I'll see you Tuesday morning, which for you will be in a minute. Right, welcome back everyone. It's Tuesday morning now, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's blinking freezing out there. It's about minus three. We did drop down to minus six in the night, but it's down to about minus three now. So we were gonna go get this fitted back in the van now. I'll quickly show you around. So as you can see, everything's dried off now. It's had a good, uh, good two days to dry now no patches or nothing looks excellent now it does look a uh, factory factory finish on that i'm really happy with it and as you can see all the trimmed everything just looks like it's got a nice factory finish on there so yeah i'm really happy with that excellent job so what we'll do now is we'll head out to the van i've got the diesel heater on in there i say because it is blinking cold out here so uh it's lovely and toasty in there so let's head out to the van now and uh, get this refitted. Right, so we're back in the van now, guys. I've just set you up in the back there. Hopefully you can see uh, what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna bring the headlining in. You might hear the diesel running, diesel heater running, as I say. So just have to bear that in mind. I don't know if you can see there on camera that I've actually, uh, soundproof the ceiling and I've put just a bit of a um, silver foil there and once I have got this up I'm going to come in from the back here and I'm going to put some wadding in there as well some dodo insulation so I've just got to go around the driver's side to plug the microphone in so although I say we're not using this head uh, stereo and micro system that's already built in the car I will plug it back in because if I ever do get rid of the van and I'll take my stereo out then at least that's all plugged back in ready so just need to pull these top rubbers down on the door and this is the first bit of trim to go back in I'm not sticking none of the pillars in or nothing first so literally just pull that door over to keep the heat in a bit so it's literally just line it up 
put your door trim rubber back up. And that's what holds it up. And obviously you would have clips here, as I said before, but I did take mine out. All right, so I just need to let that hang on that headrest a minute while I go around to the other door now and clamp it under the door rubber. All right, so push that up, get that rubber just down there. Let's give it a bit of a tap just to make sure it's in fully. Oh, that looks fantastic. I'm well happy with that. Well happy with that. That just stealths it out a bit more. I say I do need to do the pillars there for the driver's and um, passenger seat belts. Well, that's fantastic, that. I'm well happy with that. That looks excellent. That's a great addition. So I'll just get me a little socket set out a minute. What we'll do is we'll stick our little um, clips back up which go in there. So they just literally clip in, and you just wind the screws back up, and once you wind them in, that spreads the plastic to pour against the back of the roof lining. So these ain't got to be too tight, you just want to nip them up. I ain't got the screwdriver bit for this socket set, so I'll have to use this. Uh... And that just goes like that, so we could do the other one. I'll just put that in and then I'll bring you back in to show you, because then I can go get the other trim and the sun visors. Yeah, sorry it's a bit darker, it's a bit, a bit more darker than now, all the roof's all black. So that'd be perfect for that. So just push that wire out there. So let me bring you in. And as you can see, that looks fantastic. I'm really happy with that. It just takes away that dirty looking grey cream before we had up there. It had all black fingerprints on it and it was a bit yellowy from where the previous owner smoked in here. And it just makes this cab feel a whole lot better. A whole lot nicer place to be in. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Definitely a good choice, that one. And I say, then I've only just got these two bits here because the bottom parts are trim colour on these, so it's not a lot there to do. I say I can do that, it won't take a, a long time to dye them. I might do it uh, until I do find a new set, but at the time being, I'm just going to leave them as be because I say they will hopefully be getting changed out. Let me just get the other bits and I'll be back with you. Right then folks, let's get this uh, side fitted up now. So we've got our sun visor here. I'll say it's a bit dark in here, so you have to just uh, bear with me on that one. Right, where's my screw? So, it just has a little hook on it and that hooks in under the roof. So you want to push the hook in first and then twist it back on itself. You just sit that in there, look, that'll hold it up for you. So you can just wind that up. And again, you ain't got to go too mad with these. Just nip them up. That's that. Lovely. And then our final bit of trim. Again, I'm just going to pull this uh, door rubber down just so we can get it right in. Well, sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you actually see me refitting this or not. I don't know if I've uh, I lost the footage there, if the battery died on the GoPro. I'm still getting used to this GoPro. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this one's turned out. It's uh, got a nice finish to it. And uh, as you can see, well, you can't see because it's that dark in there. But we've got the sun visors up now. They all match up perfectly. I've got a little confession to make to you. Let me take you around here. And that was with... Um, this pillar here, you might notice it's got a bit of a shine to it. I did actually um, damage this one and just for the purpose of the video, I just wanted to get some black on it. So I've just actually sprayed it with some satin black 
and I don't like the finish at all on that. It's like a, it's come up like a glossy finish on that. Right, so welcome back everybody. Bit of a change of scenery. I actually lost the footage to the end of the video there. So what you saw is as far as I got on the camera wise, basically. So I did get it all finished off. As you did see in the video earlier on, it did turn out really nice. The good coverage all over. Just that passenger side A pillar. I will be rubbing that down again and using the same uh, trim die on that as well, just to get it looking factory again, a nice matte finish on it. So as you can see, editing this video, so I thought I'd quickly jump on the camera now, just put a little uh, ending on here for you. So we are moving along with the van now, We've only got a few little sna snagging jobs to do on it. Uh, the next video on the channel is going to be at Chris's caravan, the static caravan, where you want to see the floor repair, because he's got an issue with uh, a soggy floor basically, it's getting wet from somewhere. So we're going to be having a look at trying possibly ripping that out. And uh, we're going to have to take this wall down as well, the internal ply wall, because there's a bit of damp behind that. So we want to check where this water's coming in, check the insulation behind the wall, if it's all damp or what we're going to need to replace. We'll be going from there. So I'm going to leave it here for this little video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you about.